He's the third most senior cleric at the Vatican. It's serving as the, effectively the Vatican's treasurer, the most senior cleric in the Catholic Church, we understand, to have sex abuse charges levelled against him. Uh, and it's, it's a concern about damage to his uh, reputation in the event that these offences are not found to be warranting going further to trial. So he will be defending them, as I mentioned. He denies any, any uh, culpability in any of these cases. And so they are protecting his identity in these rather strenuous suppression orders in the event that the magistrate doesn't find he has a case to answer. If, if the magistrate does find that, then this case will proceed to trial. Well, there's a huge amount of interest in this case because of his seniority in the Catholic Church and because of the Royal Commission findings, which were pretty horrific, as, as uh, you mentioned before. Uh, but at the court, we've also got international media in Australia covering this case because he's a global figure now. And we're, we've seen some protesters outside the court this morning concerned about the Catholic Church's role in the abuse of children historically. The court is closed, as I mentioned, and that is a normal procedure in sex offence cases in the state of Victoria. But what is a bit unusual is the extent of the suppression orders here. We not only don't know the identity of the complaint, that's not terribly unusual, but we don't even know the nature of the charges or what the charges are specifically. So until such time as the court moves into another phase or that suppression order is lifted, we're not able to know anything about that. And that is to protect George Pell because he is such a public figure.